Sagittarius, this is all about you. First, let me just say this. Happy Sag to you. Happy Sagittarius season to you. It's going to be a beautiful one, especially for the first two weeks, Sagittarius, because your big bad daddy Jupiter is all up in your house again. And let me tell you, Jupiter loves coming home and visiting you guys. So you're going to have a very, very next, like smooth couple of weeks. And so we please enjoy. We do need a little bit of lightening up. That's true. Scorpio season was actually, I think, transcendent for a lot of people. But we're going to have a little bit of a reprieve and we have you to thank. So Sagittarius, thank you so much. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I am Born Without Boundaries. Michelle, welcome to the channel. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I upload all that great content. I'm going to start over here with that oracle reading, full spread oracle reading. This is for Sagittarius sun, moon, and rising sign, or wherever Sagittarius applies to your chart. And I know I got an email the other day, yes, that can contrast with other parts of your chart. So apply it to that part of your life and then see how it integrates into the rest of your chart. If you know your chart well, if not, then don't be afraid to go ask somebody who really, really does and, and, and who can guide you through and help you see how this energy would pertain. So let's get on with it, Sagittarius. Let's see. Sagittarius energy. Okay. So this is a very beautiful and peaceful energy. Turtle is Cancerian energy, so you could be dealing with a Cancerian in some way, but this is more of a mentality. This is this harmonious, the harmonious, what the people would call high vibrational Cancerian energy, because it's not so much you have a shell to hide in, it's that you have a shell and it's a part of you. And it's you realizing that you take your home wherever you go and you feel secure in yourself, in your emotions. Turtles swim in beautiful water. They have the flowing water all around them. They feel comfortable in what they are and who they are. And you know what? They can also climb, climb up on land when they need to. They have a beautiful, balanced sense of self. They live a very, very long time. So this could reflect being an old soul, Sagittarius, or getting to another point in your life where you're more mature and you feel comfortable in your own skin, like the decisions that you've made, you feel really secure about and you feel really happy about. This is about, yo dude, what's up? Awesome. You remember the turtles from Finding Nemo? Like I think about the turtles all the time. And I think about them when I see this card, not only because they're like totally man, but because they had a wonderful, and they're like cartoons, right? But they had a wonderful mentality, and I think it matches your mentality. This mentality of this moment right here, right now, this is what I have. This is where I am, and I'm going to completely and totally immerse myself in what I have right here and right now. I also think of turtle energy as in slow and steady wins the race. Turtle won the race, hair didn't. Why? Because if you think about that story, Sagittarius, if you think about that story, turtle was focused on his goals and what he wanted out of life. And that was to finish the race. It wasn't to win the race, it was to finish the race. And he believed in himself and he stayed focused on, on, on finishing that race and running the best race that he could. What did Hare focus on? Hare focused on turtle. That's all Hare did was obsess over, I'm going to be turtle, I'm better than him, I can do it, this is so easy, comparing, constantly comparing himself to turtle. Well, guess who won the race? So this is that reminder and the mentality of, I'm right here right now. I believe in myself, I believe in where I am, I'm all good. So let's, let's go with the flow, man. Let's go with the flow. And this is that mentality that you're going to be feeling for the next week. This sense of a beautiful alignment and balance. If you guys are on platforms that allow for commercials, I'm going to sneak one in here. I'll see it in about 30 seconds. Now, for those of you who didn't have to wait, bully bully to you, Saggy Sag. Let's get more energy coming out. This could also mean that finally something that you've been working on for a long time or something that seemed to have taken a long time is finally coming to fruition or you're finally seeing some sort of wisdom in it. 
breakthroughs in it or you've had an internal breakthrough where you realize it doesn't define who you are. It doesn't define you. So let's get into this energy. Oh, nice. Take the lead. This is, this is why the cards amaze me so much. Sagittarius, this is you taking the lead. We are moving from the sign of Scorpio into the sign of Sagittarius, okay? The sun has now entered the sign of Sagittarius. It is going to be there for a month. We're, we're learning life's lessons through you. You are the conduit and the, the sage. And what do you always teach us? Take things like, take things with a grain of salt, but look at them from a higher perspective. Always try to understand the big picture and be thinking ahead. Live for the moment, live in the moment, laugh, have fun, and don't take anything too seriously. But this is it, the caveat, including yourself, including yourself. And that's sometimes very, very hard to do. What this is telling me is that on a personal individual level, you will be looked to and shown a great deal of respect this week. You will might be getting job opportunities and an opportunity to take the lead in a position that you may not have felt that anybody would notice you for. Or even if you did, you were applying for this role, you will be picked to be the leader. People will be looking to you. This is a really good time for you to just let out your shine because you will get what you want. You could be launching a new project. You could be, um, mm. sorry, my dog was dangerously close to the edge of my, <laughs> I apologize, uh, dangerously close to the edge of my loft. So I just wanted to be sure. Thank you for your patience. Um, you could be, whatever it is, you could be taking on a new project. You could be deciding to go out on your own. This is a card of you being out in front. And honestly, I really think you like this position. You like other people to sort of look around and like pick up the details after you, but to design the ideas, your ideas are good. Your ideas are fruitful. They're successful. Um, and they usually are very fun, which means they're attractive. They bring people together. And especially this week around holiday season, as we come, as we we're entering your season, Thanksgiving happens in your season. We love to bring the family around. We love to celebrate what we have. We love to be grateful and appreciate what we have. This is a holiday that doesn't know race or creed. It certainly knows culture because it's from the United States of America, but it's all about you being that central point. Almost look at these antenna, uh, these antlers as antenna, receiving those messages from the divine. In other words, bringing everybody together, bringing bringing all thoughts, all people, bringing them all together and helping them surround you, you being the focal point, not to get attention, but to get people together. It's plain and simple. Um, and then we have this beautiful energy of, which is Sagittarius energy, 100%. Think on your feet. Hold on one second. This is your card. This is you. Every time this card comes up, this is my Sagittarius card. Why? Because it's wild, it's crazy, it's free, it's spontaneous, it's a little bit tricksy, but it's sexy and it's cute and it's got a fire underneath it. It's got a palpable, innocent fire underneath it. It's got a um, almost a touchable fire underneath it. This is a tricky, tricky dicky, but it's you and it's you taking the lead. And so what we're saying here right now, at least what the cards are showing me is something is about to pop off. As soon as we enter Sag season, something is about to pop off. Let's see what it is. Learn from the past. Very interesting. So there's an association or some sort of understanding. Maybe something that you've been waiting to hear from somebody you've been waiting to hear from in the past. There is somebody, ooh, ooh, maybe that you wanted still in your life for some reason. And it didn't work out. It didn't work out with this person from the past and there may be a temptation because you're feeling so good and you should be feeling good because it's it's a good it's a good season for you it's your season see the bigger picture see the see, see the bigger picture see the long term remember remember what you went through with this person remember why this person walked away from you remember why this situate the opportunity was denied to you remember why and remember those feelings of of disappointment of upset of maybe even heartbreak 
Remember those things. Why? Not for revenge, but so that you can see that at this point in your life, you're past it. You can't turn back and you shouldn't really want to, but there is a temptation because there was a very, very strong connection here. The desire is palpable. I can feel your desire. I can feel you wanting. I can, it's like this opportunity, whatever form it came in, whether it was a person or a job, doesn't matter. What matters is this opportunity posed an opportunity for you to basically make your dreams come true or to have something that you've always wanted in the most, most perfect form at the most perfect time with the most perfect story attached. And the disappointment was tremendous. It was great. And in some ways it reshaped who you are. It reformed who you are. It, it didn't make you worse. It didn't make you more jaded, but it did, it did change you. It changed how you trust, maybe how you open up to people. I don't see you being jaded though. I honestly, I honestly see you having come around and being more yourself almost. How can I say this? Almost like coming out to the world as exactly who you are. And it was this time in your life that helped to push it through. And there's some sort of revisit of some sort of person from your past. There's some sort of acknowledgement or understanding of that moment of your life coming back this week. And I think it's because you're ready to move on to a different phase in your life. There's a sense of you really know who you are. You're very secure in who you are and what you want to build. You have a lot of confidence and faith in the ideas that you have or in the circumstances that you're with right now. I feel like, honestly, this is you almost reminiscing back to the past to appreciate what you have right now because what you have right now is a beautiful thing or you're headed that way and Sagittarius this could very well be saying that a lot of the muck if you were caught in any kind of muck or caught up in any kind of um, conflict or drama that this kind of drama and conflict in some ways was the foundation for the happiness that you have today for the reason why you can take the lead or give the right answers or um, be the one that people come to. There's, there's a sense of people wanting your advice this week. People looking to you and appreciating what you can offer them in terms of your wisdom. This is all eyes on you. This really is, but it's also a good moment for you because you have a beautiful sense of self. You've developed it. You've developed it and it's been work, something, a work in progress for a number of years. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This is very Virgo energy. This also can be Cancerian energy coming through. Sagittarius, I just feel like there's this energy of or somebody that, that provided you with a strong foundation. Almost like you taking the... This is, may sound really weird, but it's almost like you taking the lead in your family, Sagittarius, if that makes any sense to you. It's like you taking over and assuming the leadership role from people who were once the ones that led you. So this could be a promotion at work. This could be, like I said, you starting up your own business. This was you something where the people who used to guide you are now looking to you. And it's not in a ha ha ha, I'm boss now kind of mentality with you. It's in a mentality of it's just the tide has turned and something has shifted. And the person or people that once um, that you once needed to learn from, you're now guiding and leading. This is about you leveling up, Sagittarius. Let's get one more card for you. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is coming week, sun, moon, rising. I feel a solidity to your nature and the presence of your body, of yourself that it, that hasn't been there for a while. Um, if you're dealing with any kind of legal proceedings, this could very well mean that you need to dig up and do some research and dig up stuff from the past and basically lay it out very clearly, but in a way that it's not like, 
It's like you're building your case from an aerial perspective and definitely showing people how the, how the past how repeating the past might hurt or harm or even help the situation. But there's something about using the past to be able to give people clarity of what needs to happen in the future. Ooh, that message had to come out. Sing your own song. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Sagittarius, people are listening to you. They are listening to you this week. Um, you are singing those high notes, those overtones. You're singing the melody. You're taking the lead. This is you being able to honestly state your case in a very clear way. Make your argument for something in a way that everybody will listen to it. It's not like you have this hypnotic part of them. It's that you, your voice will stand out amongst other voices this week. You'll be heard over them just like the flute or the trumpet part in a symphony. You can hear it really loud and really clear. It, it almost moves over the other parts. Even though it's just part of the symphony, it's really easy to pick out this melody and you're going to be standing out this week. Let me flip the camera around just so we could click, quickly review your, your cards. Hold on, Sagittarius. And there you go. <laughs> there you go. Top of your energy is a calmness and a oneness with yourself. Slow and steady wins the race. This is something you've been at work with for a long time and that's why you know it well enough to be able to get other people to agree with you. More and more, this could be some sort of legal proceeding or or even just like, like I said, taking over at work, something. You will be able to convince people to your side. They will this week be listening to you and believing you, why? Because you're telling the truth and you're being sincere and it's like you're, it's like you're pointing, this is what you're doing. You're pointing out to people how what happened in the past is actually what is the foundation for where we are today. And if, if people aren't happy with it, then why would they want to repeat the past again? Right? Or why wouldn't we want to learn from from the mistakes that we made in the past or learn from the past in order to build a better future where we're more secure and more stable. And this could all be going on inside of you as well. Learning from the past, taking those past disappointments that you went through and like basically in faith, like combining with spirit and listening, like using spirit to let like guide you and, and let you do like an introspective look to understand why did I go through all this? What was all of this about? And ultimately it was about building you into a stronger person. You see six, you see four, that's 10 together. Lay a solid foundation and be fearless and bold. 10 is that completion. You've been fearless. You've been bold. You have kept at this. You have not given up and your perseverance is about to make a breakthrough this week. Let's see a little bit more about what this breakthrough is. I'm going to do a full tarot spread and do your romance and love reading for the week ahead. I'll see you guys over there on the extended. Oh, the link is below guys. See you there.